In the crock pot, those roasted beef soup bones go in with parsley, bay leaf, peppercorns, uh, some celery, dehydrated carrots, stalk of fennel, no salt yet, no garlic, garlic and no onion, and cold water. And this will be our broth. Okay, everybody, Ukrainian borscht, my way. Last night I did roasted the soup bones, put them in this crock pot. It's a seven quart crock pot full of water with um, all the additives I did that I showed you earlier. Today, I don't know if you can see, this was a really big bone, and there's some pretty nice meat in here. When this cools down a little, I'll go through all this meat. And the meat will go back in the soup. This is what I strained out. And there's the broth. I'm going to let it cool down a little, get some of the fat out, and show you what's up next. All right, I took all the meat off the soup bones. Now that's a pretty good amount of meat for two soup bones. It's good stuff, too. And in here, as I will cut these up, the ingredients for this are the beef broth, cabbage, I'm putting in a sweet potato. Recipe calls for one medium potato per person. Mm, I don't know how many servings we're going to get out of the whole pot, but carrots, these are left over from the farm. Carrots, and then here, these beets, this is rutabaga. These were in the freezer. About a teaspoon and a half of salt, maybe half a teaspoon of coarse ground pepper, not a lot because I put peppercorns in the stock, quarter cup of dill, three tablespoons of sugar, and a half a cup of vinegar. I have probably half and half with apple cider and white. And I will be putting in chopped tomatoes. Again, there are no onions and no garlic in our version. And looking to see what else is on my illustrious recipe. So far, those are the ingredients. I've skimmed most of the fat, added the salt and the coarse ground pepper, and go the tomatoes. Oops. I'm gonna put you down because I gotta dump all these veggies in. Okay, in the pot, carrots, potatoes, tomatoes, rutabagas, sweet potatoes, did I say potato? Okay, all that's going in till they're half done, till the veggies are half tender, and then I'm going to add the beets. The so beets have been um, cooked and frozen, and I don't want them to get too soggy. They have great flavor, but I don't want to wreck the soup. And then after that, the vinegar, the dill, the sugar, and the cabbage go in. But let's get these half tender first. Okay, everybody, the vegetables are about half tender. I've stabbed them. Uh, let's see, 36 minutes. Mm. And I forgot to add the meat, so I added it on the last... 10. So that meat went back in and now we're going to add the beets. And this color of the soup will change pretty drastically. Like, uh, I'm seeing almost immediately, I don't know about you. Okay. okay, everybody, veggies are done. Now, uh, we add the cabbage, dill weed, vinegar, and sugar. This is a no tripod night. I didn't feel like getting the tripod out. Okay, cabbage. 
three cups. The recipe calls for three cups. Uh, I don't know if this is three cups. This is kind of like whatever we have in the fridge kind of deal. Uh, we have cabbage from the farm, sweet potatoes, beets, our last year's beets, rutabaga are from another family farm. Okay, cabbage, dough weed, one quarter cup, vinegar, half a cup, sugar, three tablespoons, I'm going to bring the heat up just a little bit and then I'm going to put the lid on for about a, two minutes and that ought to cook the cabbage. I'll show you what it looks like in a bowl. Guess what time it is? It's time to try my version of Ukrainian borscht. If you ask anybody what their version is, it's going to be different. This recipe is not the same for everyone who makes it or for every person in the Ukraine. Let's see. And with stews and soups, tomorrow this will be much better than it is tonight. But I'm hungry. Love the broth. The dill is fantastic in there. The meat. Not every version has meat. And like I said, this has no onion or garlic. A friend of mine that gave me this recipe is allergic to onion and garlic. So they adapted it to work for their family. And yes, there is sour cream in here. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Amazes me every time I make it how good it is. Beat. Gotta have a beat. Mm -hmm. I love that earthy red beet taste. A little bit of crunch cabbage. And the meat, oh. I just can't beat a yummy borscht. Thanks for watching. Hope you try it.